Welcome to Nick's Kitchen, and today we are going to be making French toast. Am I French? No. But, hey, fake it till you make it. So, we're going to run through our ingredients list. The first thing that we have is butter. We just put butter in the pan and make sure that the French toast doesn't stick. Next, we have egg whites. I prefer egg whites because they're healthier than whole eggs, and they're low in fat, and it can help lower your cholesterol instead of, you know, using the whole eggs. Next, we are going to be using some of our sweeteners. We have a banana, which is going to be one of our natural sweeteners. We have blueberry syrup. If you don't have blueberry syrup, you can use actual blueberries. Wash the blueberries, put them in the pan, um, and it'll work just as good. Then I also use a little bit of honey, not too much. And our two spices, we have pumpkin spice, which is optional, but I like the added taste that it has. And we have ground cinnamon. For bread, you can use any bread you want. However, I like golden wheat artisan bread, and I like the thicker slices. To me, the thicker slices absorb the egg whites better, and it just comes out more cakey than other breads. Um, it tastes more like a cake, essentially. I don't like bread with you know nuts and that type of thing in my French toast, because it kind of takes away. It adds a weird crunch that you're not really expecting. Um, so yeah, I prefer this type of bread and I'll look, link things in the description too. Okay, so to start off, we are going to be adding the egg whites into a shallow dish. And then we're gonna flip the, the bread inside and make sure we get all of the egg white and our seasoning. First, we're going to put about half a cup and this is one of those things where you know if you need more you can add more um, depending on the slice of bread if you have thinner sliced bread you might not need as much so just kind of you know feeling around for it and while we're getting that ready we're gonna turn on the heat add a tiny bit of butter not too much just so it can start melting Perfect, let that melt. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is get our spices. I first start with ground cinnamon. And I just kind of sprinkle, sprinkle it as much as I like. Um, it probably ends up being about, per slice I would say a little bit more than one teaspoon but again you can add as much as you like and now we're gonna add the pumpkin spice and it ends up looking very similar to this Okay, so next we're going to be using our bread and we just kind of dab it inside the middle. Let it soak up all the egg white and we flip it. Let it soak up and flip. While that's soaking up the egg white, we just make sure to move the butter around a little bit. and we transfer it over into the pan. Super simple, super easy. And then, so now what you're gonna notice is you might not have enough egg white for the next um, French toast. So you just add in a little bit more. Again, this one's empty. Again, just depending on the size of your bread, the cut of your bread, um, you might need a little more or less than I have. So it's just kind of playing it, um, playing it by sight and eventually once you have whatever bread you want, you're going to figure out what works best. And my favorite thing about this recipe is a lot of it, a lot of the flavor and the taste actually comes from the bananas and the blueberry syrup rather than just, you know, putting on really high calorie, um, 
high high sugar syrup because that just it while it does taste good it's not as healthy for you and you can get a lot more flavor naturally than you might expect again we're just going to put it inside the shallow dish we flip it and you can flip it a few times make sure to soak up as much egg white as possible and if you have egg white left over no worries perfect and we put it on the pan and now we're just gonna let it sit for a while um, probably about a minute or two we're gonna check up on it and we're going to flip it and we can always flip it more depending on if it looks a little undercooked um, but usually I let it go for about a minute two minutes and then I, I flip it to make sure it has that golden color and we're going to be seeing what that color is going to look like in a second okay so now we've waited about a minute and we're going to start to flip it to see the color okay now this is a very good starting color to see we're going to end up flipping it again but what you're really looking for is that nice golden color that streaks across the bread this one we're gonna flip see what color it looks like that's a very good color to be looking for and another reason why it doesn't matter how much you put of your cinnamon and pumpkin spice on in the beginning is because you can start to add it while it's in the pan I like adding it while it's in the pan too because I feel like the heat kind of unlocks a little bit of the flavor maybe it's just me maybe I'm crazy and while this is cooking what we're going to do is we're going to be taking our banana and we're going to be adding banana slices into the pan and again I think that that makes the taste of the banana pop out even more and it kind of gets in with the um, it gets deeper into the bread slices and I just like kind of spreading it out all across the pan in different areas making sure not to keep it in any one specific area you can add as much banana as you like um, and I'm gonna make sure ooh hear that sizzle that's my favorite sound that's when you know something's going right okay and then we're going to I think that's enough banana for now we're going to check on the color we're gonna flip it probably one more time the heat that I have it on I have it on a medium heat not too low not too high you don't want to burn your French toast again it should come out kind of like tasting like a cake um, and we're gonna flip it to see that's a color that we're looking for and again it's also based on personal preference some people like it um, a little more overcooked to undercooked but for me I like doing a minute on each side and then going from there and seeing based on the color um, and there's just that golden streak color that I really like to look for we added extra cinnamon on the other side so we're going to put more back on this side just kinda of make it you know evenly spread out across the bread the more even it is you know you're just gonna taste it's gonna taste a little better you're not gonna have clumps that are um, you know halfway through and then none on the other side I'm gonna add a tiny bit more pumpkin spice quick tip for pumpkin spice is you can always pour it into the lid first just like this to make sure you know if you have a jar that is open and doesn't have the little grates like my cinnamon does um, instead of having it all dump out um, you can pour it into the lid first and then just sprinkle it on we're gonna move these bananas around just a little bit and we're gonna flip it one more time to see if that golden color is there perfect this is the, the color that you're looking for that's when you know that it's going to be done I'm gonna let it on there for you know another 30 seconds to a minute and while that's going on I am going to be adding my blueberry syrup the blueberry syrup just adds you know a little bit of added taste 
and I love the uh, the combination of blueberries and bananas. Just kind of sprinkle it on like that. Now we're gonna let it sit. We're gonna let that heat again mix with the bananas, the blueberry. In option, and this is more for, in my opinion, this is more for look. You can sprinkle on a little bit of powdered sugar. That's gonna give it more of a uh, a fancy look to it. Um, I usually don't do that. However, you can if you're serving it, you know, to a, a family member and you want it to look nice. Just sprinkle on a little bit of powdered sugar around the edges. This is also where you could add your honey. Um, honey is again optional. And this time I'm not going to add honey, but it, it is an option and it does have a little added taste. So if that's something that you like, you know, it goes very well with this combo of banana and blueberry. You do the same thing, you just put a little bit of honey, um, similar to the, the um, blueberry syrup. And it should be done at this point. We're just going to turn the flame off and it's still cooking. By turning the flame off, it's not going to burn, and the pan is still warm enough to heat up the underside, um, the remaining side of our French toast, and it's still going to help unlock the flavor of the bananas and the blueberry syrup. And according to my assistant Fred, the plants, I think our blueberry French toast is ready, so we're just going to... The moment we've all been waiting for. Dip up our bread. And this part, I really like to throw the blue or the bananas on top. And make sure we don't miss any of the banana. And there you have it. Blueberry French toast. A healthier alternative to using um, to using whole eggs. And in my opinion, one of my favorite ways to start off the day and start off breakfast. So like, comment, share this video. Tell me what you thought of the tutorial. How did it go? Did it work for you guys? Um, and stay tuned for our next cooking videos and other videos on the channel. Peace, guys.